not your person. We will not see who you are. Okay? All right. Now, the, last week I taught you how to change a fraction to a decimal. If you notice, I put an orange sheet out there today, and I hope you all got one. If you didn't, you need to get up and go get one. Okay? You should have picked up two pieces of paper. One is orange, one is white. Now, the reason is because I'm changing your game. Okay? I'm going back to the way I taught it last year. All right? So this sheet has the steps that I, how I taught it last year. And I'm going back to it because it's just so much easier. So here we go. Fraction to a decimal. What did you have to do in seventh grade to get that fraction turned to a decimal? Do a lot of work. Yeah, but all you were doing was dividing the numerator by the denominator, correct? Yeah. Longhand. Or in that blue calculator, you divided the numerator by the denominator. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to make it easy. Okay? So it says... It says to a fraction to a decimal here, it says enter the numerator, so that is the number one, and, and push divide sign because that's what that line means. Then it says enter the denominator, which is eight, and I hope you're all doing this. You need to be pushing that calculator, okay? If you are not doing it with me, then when it comes time for you to do it, then you'll be like, oh, I don't remember. And then all you have to do is press enter, and you've got your decimal, point one two five. Okay? Everybody good with that? Does that make sense to you? Does that seem easier? Yeah. Okay. Now, the thing, the reason we went to the other one is because when you are putting in fractions in this calculator, if you're just converting it, that's fine. But if you're doing some kind of thing where you're doing one-half plus uh, one-eighth divided by three-fourths, each fraction you put in has to be in parentheses. And sometimes students would forget the parentheses, okay? And that's why we went to trying to teach you the other way, but I think it's just so complicated and so time consuming that I'm going back to this way. Decimal to a fraction, here we go. So there's always more than one way to do things on this calculator. So decimal to a fraction is right down here. It's in the middle of your chart. Decimal to fraction, it says enter the decimal number. Our decimal number is 0.825. It says push math. So do you see the math key? It's right underneath the alpha key. Do you see it? It says M-A-T-H. Everybody see it? Yes or no? Yes. Hey, are you pushing it? Yes. All right, so Hunter, you've pushed it. Okay. I'm not going to say your last name. Don't worry, okay? So then do you see how fraction is highlighted? Everybody see that? So you can either press enter, enter because it's already highlighted, or you can press one, enter. Either way it will work. On your sheet it says press enter, enter. So I'm going to press enter, enter, and I get what? So isn't that easier than all that alpha stuff? Okay. All right. So the other thing you have to know when you do this way is what is a whole number and what are the parts? Okay. So. What is the whole number here? 25. So you would just write down your 25 and put a decimal point. Okay? Now all you have to do is put that fraction in and convert it. So we're going to do 7. That line means divided by 8. And we're going to hit enter. And what is the answer, Dante? 875. And you just add that on the end and you're done. You, you okay, Kane? Okay? You're a little lost. Okay? So, let's try this. Decimal, mixed number, decimal to a fraction. So, decimal to a fraction. It says here, let's read the instructions first. Okay? It says, write down the whole number down. Enter the decimal. Push math. Push enter, enter. Write the fraction part after the decimal, after the whole number. So write the whole number down. What's the whole number, Kane? One. Then it says we are going to enter the decimal, point six. Then we're going to hit the math key, and I want it to be a fraction, correct? So I'm just going to press enter, enter, and I get what? Three-fifths, so you're just going to write it afterwards. Easy enough? All you got to do is put math. 
if you want a fraction, yes. Okay? All right? So here we go. Fraction to a repeating decimal. So I'm just going to push, well, how do you change any fraction to a decimal? In that blue calculator, how did you do it? One divided by three, correct? Because that's what a fraction is. One divided by three. So we're just going to put in one divided by three and hit enter. That's correct because it's repeating. So what we're going to do is put point three and what are we going to do with the three? Put the line over it and we're done. Okay. So here we've got this. So how are we going to do this one, Hannah? What am I going to push? It's just a fraction. I want to turn it into a decimal. What am I going to do? Press the numerator, 77. That sign means what? Jasper, what does that sign mean? Divided by 300 and just press enter and there it is. So I'm going to write 0.25. Am I going to write 6, 7? No. What am I going to write? 6 with what? A line over it. That's correct, okay? Remember, that means raise the score. That's why it's ending like that. All right, so now, these I forgot to write the little line on top. So let's write the line on top of both of those, all right? On the point six, and then write the line on everything, one, two, five, okay? So, if I have a repeating decimal and I need to make it into a fraction, it needs to be point Six, 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 six. Almost three quarters of the way across. Come on, put it in. I'm waiting. Okay, just put it about three quarters of the way. By the time you get to right after calculate or right here, okay, this trace button somewhere in there. Then, since I want to change it to a fraction, see, enter the decimal number. Push math, push enter, enter. Math, enter, enter, and what do I get? Two over, Two over three is correct, so that is the fraction. Two thirds. Anybody get not get that? If you were to just put point six in, math, enter, enter, it'd give you a different number, it'd give you three fifths. So if it's repeating, you have to put it three quarters of the way across and you will get the correct answer. So how do you think I should put this one in, Irving? Irvin? How should I put this in? No, because do you notice that the line is on top of the one and the two? So one, two, five, one, two, five, one, two, five, always end on the last number that this one ends on. Okay, so everybody put that in about three quarters of the way across. You can't do math like you're in an easy chair watching football, okay? Got to sit up, got to do your work, okay? So once you do that, all it is is hit math, enter, enter, and what do you get? 125 over 999, okay? What did you get? I got nine nine nine. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Percent to decimal. Now that's even on this card. Percent to decimal. You enter the number, push divide, enter one hundred, push enter. So you are dividing by one hundred. Okay, is all you have to do when you're doing a percent to decimal. So I can't put, you're not putting that percent sign in. This, this calculator doesn't let you do that. So you just press the number 96, push the divide key, which is over here on top of the multiply key. Okay, then you put in 100 because you're going to divide by 100. 
Press enter. That's your answer. Okay. All right. Let's do the third one and then we're going to come back to this one. Okay. On this one, all you have to do is the same thing. 45.35 divided by 100. And there's your decimal. 0.4535. Okay. Now, the only thing that makes this one a little more complicated is we've got to get it to a decimal first. Okay. Right now, it is a mixed fraction. So how we do that, remember up here how we changed a fraction to a decimal? We're going to write the whole number down and we're going to put a point and then we're going to take 2 divided by 3 and hit enter and we get 0.6 repeating but that is still a percent. Okay. All we did was change it from a fraction to a decimal. We didn't we didn't change it from a percent to a decimal. All right. So we changed it from looking like a decimal percent to a fraction percent to a decimal percent. Okay. Now, how did I say we change it to a percent or to a decimal? What did we do up here? What did it say right here? What did we do? Um, we divide now. now we divide by 100. So now you're going to do 89 point. And how often are we going to put that 6 in there, Hannah? Lots of times, right? 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. I don't see you pressing any numbers, Hannah. I'm looking, people. Divide by and then you're going to divide it by 100. And what do you get? So then that is your decimal, 0.896 repeating, right? Okay. Are you all good with that? Yes. Okay. So let's flip the page. Now we've got decimal to percent. Uh-oh, my screen has has frozen here.